Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's give me five time. Remember the good old days during the presidential primaries when Joe and Mika on MSNBC's Morning Joe, they were rah-rah behind Donald Trump. And after the election, they touted themselves in promos. This was going to be the show where they had direct lines to the White House. You would know what's going on before it even happens. And then something weird happened. Donald Trump shunned them, at least the way I read it. And that's what I'm paid to tell you, the way I read it. Uh, Donald Trump had nothing to do with them. And guess what? Now Donald Trump is a crazy man who's a disgrace. He's a racist. He's out of his mind. Oh, yeah, that's right. The man who banned me from his Twitter account because <laughs> he's such a big conservative. That's when he was blaming Israel for going after civilians, killing too many civilians in the Gaza war. Uh, and I took issue with that. And so I got banned from his Twitter. So now he and Rosie and Sonny Hostin, they have a nice little uh, clique. They all have something in common. But I digress. And I don't want to digress. So let's get back to Joe Scarborough. So now this Susan Rice thing comes up yesterday, uh, which, you know, dovetails with the Trump accusations in the tweets about Obama bugging him and whatever he used, whatever words he used. And um, Joe and Mika, they don't like this. We talked about this before, how well the guy is off right now mentally. Any sane, rational person would know if I keep bringing attention to something, then I'm going to keep churning up attention on something, and it is not going to be in my best interest. It's got nothing to do with jobs and the economy, which is all he says he wants to be focused well, on. Well, and it's got nothing to do with, it's, it, he's repeated this over and over and over again. It really is like picking the same scab over and over again. I'm sorry to say that, but that's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, questioning the sanity of the President of the United States. One might question the sanity of Joe Scarborough. Now, I'm not saying I am, but one might, whoever that one might be. I mean, this is, this is, this is garbage. It's trash. It really is. And if Donald Trump started calling into this show, and if Donald Trump started doing phone interviews with them the way he did during the campaign and giving them access, and if Donald Trump started saying, hey, come to the White House, come to Mar-a-Lago, uh, they'd be there in a heartbeat. And guess who would be sane again? Donald Trump. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, more. And his staff, like any sane, rational staff, would be pulling their hair out right now, saying, my God. Instead, they just keep making excuses there's for a, him. There's a disorder. It's interesting. There was, an, there was an article over the weekend about election night that right even after his triumph, he was fixated on a three-day-old negative article. They literally couldn't get him off of. And, and that's what this is. I don't know what the disorder is, and I'm not being glib, that regardless of what else is going on, if, if, there's, if, if he's been pricked in a certain area, there is an inability physiologically for him to move off of it, he is even if it's self-destructive. All right, so Donnie Deutsch is now a, uh, a, a medical uh, shrink as well. Yes, there's a, there's a sickness here. There's an illness here. Yes, uh, he was fixated on an article for three days. It's a mental illness, you see. Wow, wow, wow. They, they're trying their darndest to out CNN, CNN, trying their darndest. Unbelievable, really. I mean, Donnie, they're the ones suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. And I believe in the case of, of Joe and Mika, uh, they volunteered to get it. They said, okay, inject the virus into me. I need to get this because this man won't have anything to do with me anymore, so put me on the disease path. Now, the others around him, like Donnie Deutsch, he just may be suffering naturally from Trump derangement syndrome. Oh, there's much more. President of the United States, and he starts lying about three million votes being illegally cast. And he is obsessed on that from the day he is elected President of the United States in the most shocking political upset of our lifetimes. Most people would or say- Or maybe ever. Ever. Probably ever. Most people go, I'm good with that. You know what? I'm going to just kind of take that to the house and just relax and golf and smile. Then the day he's inaugurated, Mika, mm -hmm. 
He is now the 45th president of the United States. What does he do? He starts obsessing about crowd size and starts lying about crowd size. Now, I'm sorry, that is not a healthy, normal, well-functioning man. Oh boy, he just swung a door wide open that Donald Trump once threatened to walk through. I don't know if he will, I hope he doesn't, but he just swung a door wide open. And by the way, Donald Trump was not lying about crowd size. It was the media that brought up in response to Donald, something Donald Trump said, and then they showed pictures, the media did, of, of a half-empty inauguration ceremony for Donald Trump and a packed one for Obama. I was at Donald Trump's inauguration. I've seen the CNN, Google, slash satellite video or pictures, and it was packed wall to wall. So I don't want to get into that right now. I just want to play you some more. And he obsesses and he lies about crowd size for another three or four weeks. Still does. Until he starts lying about Barack Obama. Not healthy. I Something's think... deeply wrong with this man that he cannot show. Hell, he's not even a day trader. He's a minute trader. And he keeps, again, here's the critical thing. Don't say, please, on Twitter, please, stop being stupid. Okay? Oh, don't worry. You don't have to worry about me on Twitter. Remember, you banned me, Mr. Conversation, Mr. Conservative. <laughs> it brings up Twitter. Just ban everybody. Uh, Joe, that'll stop people from uh, tweeting to you. <laughs> More. Don't be stupid and say you should have known this was coming because of what he did with the birther stuff. I will say it again. Donald Trump cynically knew that if he played the birther card, that 45% of the Republican Party would be in support of him and say, hey, that's our guy. He's saying what nobody else will say. That was in his self-interest. It was offensive. It was, it was a lie. And it was racist. But his political self-interest was cynically forwarded, just, just like was, uh, a bigot in the South back in the 1940s would, would do, do that. By, uh, ah, he's comparing him to a bigot in the South. He's already compared him in past shows to uh, you know, these authoritative dictators of the 20th century. We know what, what Scarborough is getting to. More. But in this case, Mika, everything he is doing just is offensive. But it is against his yeah. political interest, and that's where you start saying, okay, wait a second, there's no rational reason why he should be doing this every day, even if you think he's a cynical, horrible human being. This hurts him. Because he's out of his mind. He's a sick, mentally deranged man. And he's a racist. Don't forget, Scarborough says he's a racist. And now Donnie Deutsch has to weigh in again. And Joe, what you and I are dancing around here and going back to, yes, there was logic, de devious and disgusting, but everything now points to certain disorders. I am, my hair is not on fire, but, and I am not a clinician, and I, once again, we, no, doctors don't diagnose. There's a, he's not well in many ways. If anybody was behaving this way, if a school teacher was behaving this way, if your friend was behaving this way, you'd be concerned. If right. any CEO behaved oh, this way, they would have been fired by the board 60 days ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, that's Joe Scarborough, big conservative.